New details in one South Florida high school's wild senior prom now getting international attention. Tonight it's looking more and more like a bad decision to take a live tiger to the dance. Now the state is investigating. CBS 4's Aralia Ortega reports from Westchester. Cell phone video of a caged tiger at the Christopher Columbus High senior prom is making headlines around the country and the world. Outlets like the New York Post, People Magazine, Yahoo.com, and even the UK's Daily Mail and Mirror all picking up the story. These types of animals should not be used as forms of entertainment. Zoo Miami's Ron McGill is alarmed that the caged tiger was on display Friday night for hundreds of prom goers at the Doubletree Hilton Miami Airport Convention Center. The school also also brought in a fox, a macaw, caged birds, and flamethrowers. There's people tossing fire, there's loud music, there's disco lights. What message are we sending when we take an endangered species and we put it in that environment strictly for entertainment? The school said the tiger was on display for just a few minutes. No one was harmed and there were handlers and two Miami-Dade officers standing by. There's obviously a safety issue here also. If that tiger for some reason were able to get out of that cage or something happened where there was an escape there, all those kids are in danger. Student Rafael Crespo disagreed with having the tiger there but said... The money that paid for that, the money that that prom went to also keeps the tiger fed. It keeps the tiger with medication that it needs to survive. And that tiger was also raised in captivity. So I'm pretty sure it's used to it. We were not allowed on campus to speak to Principal David Pugh. He released a statement that read in part, quote, Upon reflection, we regret the decision to have live animals at our prom, end quote. The tiger came from Predators Unlimited of Southwest Miami-Dade, a licensed captive wildlife facility. Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission said they are looking into the incident to determine if any violation of Florida's captive wildlife rules took place during the incident. Aurelia Ortega, CBS 4 News tonight.